closer here. The one a couple before this or before it was in the bathroom, I did that so you could kind of hear like a headphone type tone a little bit, but this is a really good one, folks. I'm not just saying this. It's got these silking patterns that go across the guitar, and whenever you see those silking patterns, that's indicative of a great piece of spruce. I learned that years ago from an old... Uh, guitar and violin maker. And this one also has a little bit of flame on the back that always makes it more resonant wood. But this one has real tight, close spruce on it. All the LH300s sound really great. They do. But there are some that definitely are cut above. And this one is one of them. And I'm offering a free use case with this one. So I'm only going to do this. This I almost kept this guitar because it just sounds so good with all, tons of these silking patterns. You see that like on the old Gibson L5s. And sometimes you see that in the old Epiphone Master Build stuff. silking patterns you can see those little fine lines that go across the guitar you know the same go they they go this way they go this way you know across so those little silking patterns that really uh, give the guitar some extra balance and uh, you know definition and voice kind of a sparkle clarity it's very hard to describe tone but boy look at all these little silking patterns here really makes a, a difference but like I said and I mean this, you know, all the LH300s I've sold have been great. They're all really great value. But there's, you know, one or two that pop up once in a while that really have something extra. And this is one of them. So I'm going to throw in a used case with this guitar. I need to pay some shipping. But, boy, this is a lot of box for the money. All right? All right. Take care.